You are watching TMB News. I'm Anju Sukham. Let's have a look at the top news of the day. Polling for the second phase is being held for 20 seats in Kerala, 14 seats in Karnataka, 13 in Rajasthan, 8 each in Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra, 7 in Madhya Pradesh, 5 each in Assam and Bihar, 3 each in Bengal and Chhattisgarh, and 1 each in Jammu and Kashmir, Manipur and Tripura today. An average turnout of 50% has been recorded till 3 p.m. today. Congress leaders Rahul Gandhi and Shashi Tharoor, Union Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar of the BJP and actor-turned-politician Hema Malini and Arun Govil were among some of the prominent candidates of the ballot today. Election Commission of India arranged one special polling station at Moray Higher Secondary School 41 Hanban Lalian Kaimau, 38 from Paipijang Langol to cast his only vote. He is internally displaced person and presently staying at Moray Higher Secondary School Relief Camp. Hanvan Valian Kaimang acknowledged the gesture and extends gratitude to ECI for the arrangement. I thank the Election Commission of India, the Chief Electoral Officer of Manipur, and the ICT Nepal for giving me the opportunity to exercise my voting rights. BJP Manipur Pradesh senior spokesperson and the Prabari of the Outer Manipur Parliamentary Constituency Ashni Kumar Moyangthil has stated that voting in all the 40 polling stations of Juribam Assembly Constituency went smoothly and the NDA candidate Timothy Zimik of NPF led in at least two by third of all the polling stations and would secure major share of the votes from the 40 polling stations of Jiribam district, citing inputs from independent sources. The voter turnout was 51.95% till 3 p.m. from Jiribam. A residence of Langol housing complex sustained injury in a suspected accidental pipe bomb explosion on Thursday afternoon. The man identified as Potsangbam Bikramjit was cutting the cylindrical metal pipe when the explosion caught him unaware. He is currently undergoing treatment at Sijo Hospital. A similar metal pipe discovered alongside was found containing explosives too and was safely exploded by bomb detection and disposal squad. A Jawan of the Madhya Pradesh Special Armed Force deployed on pole duty died allegedly by suicide by shooting himself with his service rifle in Chhattisgarh's Garyaban district on Friday, police said. Garyaban falls in the Mahasamund Lok Sabha constituency where polling is underway in the second phase of the general elections. A 91-year-old woman passed away minutes after casting her vote in Karnataka's Hunsur on Friday. Hunsur comes under Mysore Lok Sabha constituency. Despite her advanced age, Putamma exercised her democratic right. In the Mysore parliamentary constituency of Karnataka, voter turnout reached 25.09% by 11 a.m. during the second phase of the Lok Sabha election. Around 15 voters, including women, were injured when a swarm of bees attacked the electorate who were in the queue to cast their votes on Friday at Barabil area of Tripura's Kowai district. Election officials said that fire and emergency service personnel rushed to the spot and shifted the affected voters to the Kowai district hospital and after medical treatment, they were sent back to their homes. The Sunrisers Hyderabad, which is having one of its more fruitful seasons in the cash-rich domestic league with five wins from eight matches, entered the IPL record books for the most number of sixes hit in a single season at 100. The feat was achieved during the clash with the Royal Challengers Bengaluru at the Rajiv Gandhi International Stadium on Thursday. Though the Sunrisers went down to Bengaluru on Thursday, Tasting only their third defeat this IPL season, they posted the unique record for clearing the fence the most time in a single season. Isolated to scattered rain and thunderstorms may prevail in Manipur, Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Tripura, Gujarat, Punjab and Kerala. On the other hand, heat wave to severe heat wave conditions may prevail in many places over Gangetic, West Bengal, in some parts of Odisha, Bihar, Jharkhand, coastal Andhra Pradesh, Yanam, Telangana, 
interior Karnataka and Uttar Pradesh. Maximum temperatures are likely to be above 40 degrees Celsius in some places of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Haryana, Delhi, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu. Thank <laughs> you.